Hi everyone, I'm going to go through an example of your virtual spirometry lab. Um, please reach out and email if you have any questions, but I'm going to go through kind of the ins and outs of this and how to use it. So hopefully um, you can do this yourself. So in this lab, what you're going to be doing is learning about spirometry. And spirometry is a way of measuring lung function and lung capacity. So you're going to um, learn about that. And remember, what you're going to think about as you go through this is what factors impact lung function. And in the back of your mind, keep thinking about how these factors and how lung function and capacity might relate to someone who's been infected with coronavirus and how those symptoms and their prognosis might be related to that. So in this lab, the very first part is a pre-lab and you're gonna learn how to use the simulation, what these different things mean, um, because you're gonna have to apply that information later. But once you click on this link, it takes you to this and it's a four minute video. It goes through how to use a simulation um, how to collect your data, how to use that data, and also explains what spirometry is, what a spirometer does, um, and how that functions. So you could also read the transcript here um, to help you. So this is exactly what's being said in the video. So feel free to read that and watch. It's a four minute video. So as you're watching the video, Go ahead and learn um, and answer these questions. It'll help guide you for the next part. So you should be able to click on there and go ahead and just type in the box. Um, spirometry is, and there you go. And so once you do the pre-lab, you'll get a really good idea of how to do this simulation. Um, in the simulation, we're answering this essential question. Um, in the back of your head, you're gonna keep thinking about this. For the virtual lab, you will be developing your own testable question based on the different factors that this lab lets you alter and lets you um, put in. So for example, I came up with a question, how does smoking impact lung capacity of males age 65 to 80? Now I chose this question because I know I've heard that um, those of us who have compromised lung function um, might be, might have worse prognosis for coronavirus infection than others. So I chose this question. So now I'm in the lab and I'm gonna click on spirometer and that takes me to the simulation. And according to the data table that I created, I did older males, so 65 to 80. Um, and I want to make sure that I keep their height the same um, kind of my controlled variable because height might impact our lung capacity. So I'm going to keep their height at around 180 centimeters, which is around the average height for a male in America. So um, that's something I decided to keep and you should keep the same if you're um, altering age. And I just chose age 65 to 80 older males. Um, and then I'm going to collect data for smokers and non-smokers and I'm going to compare those values. So this is how I do it in the simulation. The first age I chose was 65. My height is at 180 centimeters. Um, males and I'm going to collect data for smokers first. So male smokers and I click start. So as the test subject reads into the spirometer, um, you can see the data is collected, time on the x-axis and volume on the y-axis, and it gives us these values. You'll learn what those values mean. I'm interested in this one right here, but I could click record data and then go up to my next age, which is 70. And I'm going to continue doing that until I've collected all data for males age 65 to 80. And then um, I'm going to fill in my data table or I could just copy and paste this once I have all my data there. Then you're going to um, answer these questions after you include your data, either in the data table you made or you copy and paste it. And then you're going to answer these questions um, and then you're going to research some other diseases um, of the lungs and illnesses. Hopefully that helped you. Let me know if you have any questions.